people on that side. My whole thing is that, hey, listen, I want to fight the best. If he's the best, let's make the fight happen. You know, he go over there, he's trying to poke at my face, I smack his hand down. I ain't with that stuff, man. He said he wanted to fight me there. I'm like, what, you scared that I'm gonna beat you in front of the whole world, is that why? <laughs> so you know what, we'll see what they do next. Uh, is that a fight you... you? Absolutely, man, come on now. I told you guys, I'll go to 154. I'll go, I'll go two weight classes for the group. Okay. I'm at 155 right now, so I'm fine. All right, that's interesting, that's interesting. Well, All the right. thing is, it's like, you guys gotta understand, it's like, if, if, if folks, you gotta know, it's not about the weight bullying. It's about the skill sets. It's mm -hmm. about the ring IQ. It's the fact that I have the longevity part. Crawford is 10 years older than me. He's old. He's getting He's getting older. His legs are gone. You know what I'm saying? And the more he goes up in weight, 160, 168, whatever he wants to do and try to catch that Canelo, he's never going to catch it. You know what he's going to catch? An early retirement. For Javante Davis or, or, or Terrence Crawford? Whichever monkey wants to get the banana. Okay. Tiafimo Lopez is still on his campaign, his Terrence Crawford campaign, and I still question why do he want to go through so much pain. It's your boy, Mr. 926, a.k.a. Bushido the Dragon, a.k.a. the Black Mage, a.k.a. I just do this all day, the two-time demonetized champion of the world. I need y'all to get the likes up, man. Get the likes up. Check it out, man. I'm getting kind of tired of Tiafimo, right? Every platform... Any, any place where is a podcast or a microphone and a, and a headset, he's there. And, yeah, he has some things to say about Terrence Buck Crawford. Now, I don't know why these dudes got these guys on their on a platforms calling dudes monkeys and everything else. But check out what Tiffany Lopez had to say. All right, well, fuck you. You're a monkey to me right now. And, and <laughs> fuck it. It is what it is. It's a fight game. And, and I don't mean that to... But, like, that's when we're going to go thro throw down. Like, there's there's only one it. way to settle it. You guys need Same. to get in the ring. Exactly. And what did he say? He said uh, outside the ring. And, and I don't play by those rules. Me, I don't. I'm just someone that everything I do, my business is in the ring. It's not outside the ring. Because, um, truth be told, a lot of things can happen south. You know? And we don't need to bury people right now. Yeah. We need to uh, inspire people right now. Now, to hear what T.O. had to say. We don't have, need to talk about burying somebody. We need to be inspiring somebody or something like that, right? And Terrence Crawford is, you're not on his radar, bro, right? Tiafimo Lopez is a, is a guy that's really not on Terrence Crawford's radar. It's probably, he probably was a guy that was never even a thought in Terrence Crawford's mind. But here he goes, calling him out. You know, he hasn't proven to even be able to compete at 147 pounds. He hasn't done anything around. So, yeah, Tiffany Lopez, he got guys that are 140 pounds that he don't want to deal with. He got guys like Keyshawn Davis, who is buzz like little bro, that he don't want no smoke with, but he wants a piece of big bro bud. I don't, I don't necessarily like, come on, bro. Like, this is getting kind of old. You know, Terrence Crawford said, look, man, you pretty much ain't getting a fight, bro. I'm not wasting my time with a Tiafimo Lopez. Like, you don't have nothing to bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you pretty much struggling to get back to the top of the hill, you know, and everything else, bro. This is how Terrence Crawford is looking at it. You know, he's looking at fights like Canelo Alvarez and, and real challenges that mean something. Why would he look to fight a Tiafimo Lopez? Terrence Bud Crawford is a 154-pound fighter. He is not anywhere near 140 anymore. He's not at 147 anymore so i don't even think tfimo lopez will come up to 154 to fight terrence bud crawford unless he's looking to cash out that's the only logical explanation for tfimo lopez's excessive um calling out of terrence bud crawford right you know look fuck you you a monkey to me and all this stuff like all right well what's up bro when i see you it's on site then you know what i'm saying we not i don't i don't do my business the way you do your business you know what I'm saying? Some things is about respect. And, yeah, you've been pretty disrespectful. You're not a guy that is not even in my weight class, in my realm, in my division. So I'm looking at you totally different. When I see you outside the ring, it's on sight. That's how Terrence Crawford's kind of looking at Tiafimo Lopez, you guys. I Look, if he was to fight Tiafimo Lopez, you know, I'm down with it. But we already know the outcome of it. Right, Tiafimo Lopez, we've seen him struggle with lesser fighters, smaller fighters. Guys that's nowhere near... The caliber of a fighter of a guy like Terrence Bud Crawford. So this is him just kind of being a distraction 
You know, I, I would say he's somewhat of a distraction right now from the fact that Terrence Crawford is pressing for a fight with Canelo Alvarez. So, yeah, you know, he got other problems that he needs to deal with with his promotional company, Top Rank. You know, Bob Arum says it feels like he's dealing with Alice in Wonderland and dealing with this guy, and I can see why. Tiafimo Lopez, he's a promoter's nightmare, right? He could be he could be a really a good, marketable fighter. However, he don't have a strong fan base. He don't have necessarily a home, right? They say he's from Florida, but he represents New York. I'm kind of confused with that situation. He don't necessarily have the Honduran people, boxing fans, really, really following him in droves. So it's, it's like one of those things to where, you know, this guy, you got to worry about what he's going to say about, you know, private stuff that happened behind closed doors. You got to worry about guys like him and Ryan Garcia spilling the beans, talking crazy, you know, being being buddy-buddy with you while they're in your face. And then when he get a microphone and a headset on and you not around, he's saying everything about you to everybody in town. But yeah, look, man, Tiafimo Lopez, I'm getting kind of tired of Tiafimo on these podcasts, calling out Terrence Crawford when we know he's not going to get that fight. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.